What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Today we're going to be looking at um, my custom AR build that I did. So we're going to look at the main component today which is the uh, rifle kit that I bought and then I built from there the rest of my rifle. Uh, and we're going to have a couple episodes coming out here with more of the items that I've attached to that rifle. Uh, as the week goes on. So when I built my rifle, this is the upper kit that I went with. And this is from CBC Industries. Uh, it is now CBC Precision Firearms. And my goal was initially to build a cheap rifle. I didn't want a $1,500 Daniel Defense or a, a $4,000 BCM rifle. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to have one. However, money-wise, I wanted something that was cost-efficient that I could take out to the range or use in self-defense if needed. And this upper kit, when I purchased it, was about $420. Now, it's a little more in price now. Uh, I wanna say it is up to 530 now. 540 is the cost on it right now. Um, but, I went with CBC Industries. Uh, I had a guy at work tell me that that's who he builds his rifles through and they're real good, they're decent. So I tried it out. Uh, so the rifle kit here is a 5.56 M-Lock rifle. So obviously I just have the upper here. Uh, the only other thing that it came with, other than a lower parts kit, as most kits will, is an adaptive Adaptive Tactical EX Adjustable Stock. Uh, and you guys will see that more when we go over the sling that I have on the rifle later. But as for the upper kit, um, standard 16 inch barrel. It is a 5.56223 barrel. Well, 5.56 barrel. Uh, it is stamped 5.56. It is made out of 4150 chrome molly steel. So it's got your standard one and eight twist, and it has a carbine length gas block or gas system with a DGI stainless gas tube and a 0 0.750 low profile gas block uh, that's right about here on the barrel. So that's your carbine length for, it's kind of hard to see with all the accessories still attached, but I don't want to take them off. They're set where I like them. Um, but that's your gas block, so it will take a, a lower profile handguard on it. So you don't have to have the big bulky plastic for this one. Um, so one and eight twist on the barrel DJI stainless gas system. It's got M4 feed ramps, a bolt carrier group, just a standard Nothing special, bolt carrier group on this. Uh, it is 8620 steel nitrate coated. Will fit any of your standard M4 AR-15s. Um, rail is a, an M-Lock 15 inch. So as you can see, it's 16 inch barrel. Uh, a little longer with the brake I have, but with a stand, it comes with a standard A2 bird cage. So it gives you that extra inch right off the handguard. I wanted something that when I have this rifle set up, the handguard goes all the way out and it makes it nice for mounting things like lights. Um, but that's really, that's really it. I mean, the, the rail itself, like I said, it's 15 inch M-Lock. It is made out of aerospace, aerospace grade aluminum and then it's hard coat anodized. So it does have that, that protection on it if you happen to throw it down. Um, obviously it's a tool, it's not a showpiece. It was never intended to be one, so it's gonna get scratched up. I haven't got to use it a lot. I only have probably 200 rounds through the rifle right now. So it's barely even broke in. Uh, the upper receiver already comes with the dust cover attached. And the upper receiver is 7075 T6 aluminum. So it's a nice hard CNC milled aluminum. Comes with a standard 
mil spec charging handle. I went with a, an off brand, I think it's actually CBC's uh, Ambi charging handle. Uh, forward assist is already installed. And that's about it. Um, so those are the specs on it. Honestly, it's, for what it is, it's a little heavy. I'm not gonna lie, it is a heavier upper receiver, but the weight on it helps hold this. The recoil is non-existent. I mean, it's 5.56, five, don't get me wrong. There's not much recoil to it at all, but with the extra weight and the brake, which we'll go over in another video, um, the, it, it's pretty much non-existent, honestly. So, reliable, holds zero, haven't had a problem with it at all. I mean, it's accurate. There's not much more I can say about it. I, I wasn't sure because of the fact that it was a cheaper upper receiver. You can get a PSA. This was a brand I never even heard of. So, going off of that, you know, it, it, I just kind of took a shot in the dark, went off the trust of a fellow co-worker, and not disappointed i'm really not um pretty much for your mounting options other than the m lock which you have m lock on the top both sides and then m lock along the bottom and then you just have some vent cuts on there on the top of the rifle in the front you have a standard picatinny uh, mounting your front sight post you also have a small section right here at the rear of the handguard and then obviously the flat top m4 style has it along pretty much 90 percent of the top of the upper receiver that i mean honestly that those that's all that there is to this uh this receiver itself my spec my my requirements when i was looking for a rifle was no pinned a2 sight I wanted to be able to take that handguard the whole way out, and I wanted M-Lock. Uh, key mob was big, it still is big, but I wanted the M-Lock just because I like the attachment point. And there's, a, there's pretty much, there's not as much available for the M-Lock yet, but what was available is all I needed. And I just like the look of it a lot better. Uh, you don't have those, it looks like you're trying to hang a picture big hole little hole so yeah I have no complaints really uh, packaging was great when it shipped in to me obviously because it's the upper it didn't come with a lower it uh, it shipped straight to the house it was bubble wrapped real tight multiple layers parts kit was separated in its own baggie and and the box and then the box was decent so I have no complaints it took a little bit it is um, it is a U.S. company. They're based out of Carolina, I believe, South Carolina. And they're veteran-owned and operated. It did take probably two or three weeks, four weeks, to get it brought in or to get it sent to me. Uh, but that's because everything's put together on order if it's shipped out. They do have a brick-and-mortar location, but if you have it shipped out of state, it does take a little longer because they custom make it at that time. So that is all I got for you here today, guys. That's the CBC Industries 556 Upper or CBC Precision Firearms, their new name. Um, if you like the video, definitely hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what rifles you have. Obviously, we all have boating accidents, but if you do have one or you're working on a new build, let me know what you're using. If it's a cheap build, if it's a high-end build, you know, I would definitely love rifles, so let me know what you're, what you're working on. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button so you can be notified anytime we drop a new video. We've got a lot of videos coming out that's going to involve this this week, possibly a little next week. That's all I got for you here today, guys. Later.